The greenhouse effect is the trapping of the sun's worm in the planet's lower atmosphere. This is due to the transparency of the atmosphere from radiation from the sun and back outside of the atmosphere. The greenhouse effect is basically when the sun emits radiation heat into the atmosphere and it can't come back out. As you can see on this chart here, um, not all radiation penetrates the atmosphere, but some bounces off. Uh, the radiation that does get trapped inside of the atmosphere, sometimes it comes out and sometimes it doesn't, and that is the greenhouse effect. There are different gases that enter the atmosphere. Here is a view. Greenhouse gases affect our climate because everything is trapped in, which makes our climate warmer. These are the four most common compounds and gases that are found in our climate. Water vapor, which is this one, it's when it acts as a feedback from the warm climate that's in our atmosphere. This increases the possibility of clouds and participation. And also we have carbon dioxide, which is this one right here. This is created by respiration and volcanic eruptions, deforestation, and burning fossil fuels. We also have methane. Methane is this one right here which occurs, which is created by natural activities and cultivation. We also have natural, um, nitrous oxide, which is created by many organic fertilizers, such as pesticides that many use today. Stop it. Hi, my name is Jacob Rodas, and I'm going to be talking about carbon footprints. And the definition that Google displayed was carbon footprint, the amount of carbon dioxide and the other carbon compounds emitted due to the co consumption of fossil fuels by a particular person, group, etc. And so basically what this definition means is that we humans emit these gases through heating and air conditioning, gasoline, food, lighting and appliances, and also hot water. And this is what, how I drew of a picture based on a carbon footprint, CO2 right there in the middle of a foot. And these are the ways we reduce carbon footprint. So, my first step would be to try carpooling once a week because most of these emissions are caused through gasoline. Approximately like about 15, 20% around there. So having a bunch of people in your car could help out instead of you know all driving out different vehicles causing more emissions of gas. So the second point that I made was turn off the lights in rooms that you are not using. Example, most of us leave our lights on in different rooms. We decide to, ah, man, it's okay. We're just gonna come back home and turn it off. No, that is not okay. Because what we're doing is we're wasting energy and we're causing more emissions to happen. The third one, reduce water bottle consumption for seven days. For us who like to use water bottles like me, we know that we should reduce the amount we use because of the plastic and the plastic refineries that make these bottles cause a lot of emissions. So it is better to not waste all that uh, emissions or stuff we use. All right. Hello, my name is Juan Perez and I'm going to be talking about how greenhouse gases are formed and what are they. Greenhouse gases are gases that contribute to the greenhouse effect by absorbing infrared radiation. Some examples are carbon dioxide, methane, nitro oxide, and fluorinated gases. How are they formed? Greenhouse gases come from all sorts of everyday activities, such as combustion, decomposition, farm practices, and through human inventions as well. Uh, some examples are like uh, the cars, when you drive them around with them, you're, uh, it's combustion. So we're emitting, we're burning fossil fuels and emitting CO2, which is a greenhouse gas. Another one is through decomposition, where the the sun's heat, the, the sun's rays heat the the waste of human and animals, which emit methane. Our next one is nitro oxide, which is released through pesticides that farmers use for their, for, the, for their crops. And our last one is fluorinated gases that are emitted through human technology such as the um, air conditioners, which uh, leak water and also 
emit uh, fluorinated gases. And these are the greenhouse gases and how they are formed. Thank you. The greenhouse effect is caused both naturally and is humanly enhanced. The greenhouse effect is when the sun emits radiation, heat into the earth, but some of the radiation is reflected across the atmosphere, which re-enters space. But because of human enhancements, this has been a major cause and topic uh, on the topic of climate change. Um, human, human enhancement is when we use machinery such as cars, factories, trucks, etc. that emit gases such as carbon dioxide, um, nitro oxide, and methane, which these gases cannot leave the atmosphere and cause and build up heat into our earth. And because of this, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change have noted that 95% of the, of the warmth on the planet has been caused by humans over the past 50 years.